Hi, Glenn Samuel here. Thanks for joining me today here at Sniper Photography. Look, just quickly, um, I want to talk to you about extending yourself or taking yourself out of the comfort zone with your photography. Uh, yesterday, I was caught in a rather um, precarious position up here in the mountains. I'd been watching the weather for about a week or so, and everybody that knows me loves they know I love chasing waterfalls and most of the waterfalls here in the mountains work very well after a lot of rain. Well, in the last week in this area or in New South Wales, we've had a, an extreme amount of rain fall. And I knew that the waterfalls would be running very, very well this, this, this week and this weekend. So yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, it looked rather um, a bit dubious. The clouds were very high cloud cover and it, was, it looked like it was going to be raining and blowing a gale and storms all day. But then there was a break in the weather and I thought, well, it's two o'clock. Um, I think I might get the gear out and take a risk. Well, that risk paid off in the end. But basically what this video is about is trying to educate people out there to go out in all types of conditions with your camera. Um, Rainy days and overcast days are absolutely magnificent for photography because the light's a lot softer um, and it's a lot more workable. But this particular day, yesterday, there was one particular waterfall that I've always wanted to photograph, but I'm led to believe it's very hard to get to, and they weren't wrong when they said that. The track leading into this waterfall is horrendous. Um, I mean, talk about take yourself out of the comfort zone, and that's what this video is about. It took me 30 minutes to get to the base of the waterfall and about 55 or nearly an hour to get back. Now, part of this track is built by the National Parks in New South Wales, where they've put signs and a couple of seats and um, wooden paths, which is fantastic. But after about halfway down, there's none of that because the terrain is that rugged, uh, there's no way they could build it. It's as simple as that. The path that I took has been cut in by uh, various people over the years. Now I know for a fact not many photographers go to this location because it's so hard to get to and it's quite strenuous. But on top of that, when you throw in the most ferocious storm I've ever been caught in in my life, and I've been around a few places, it was horrendous. Um, by the time I got down to the falls, there was the clouds had covered right over and it was very dark where I was, which is great um, for photographing waterfalls. <clears throat> but the idea was, was to take myself out of the comfort zone, which I did, but I didn't expect it to be this hard. I mean, if the SAS wanted to uh, have a new training ground, I suggest to them to come up here and I'll show them where the track is because quite frankly, I was spent by the time I got back and it really took it out of me. Uh, quite frankly, it was just that, that horrendous. But at the end of it, I felt really good because I'd achieved something that I hadn't achieved, I had never achieved before. It, um, it was just a pleasure to see the two images. I only got two images because I didn't have much time um, at the end of it when I put them back into the computer here. And, but basically, I think for people, when they see dark clouds or a bit of rain, they don't get their cameras out. I think that's a bit sad. Go out and challenge yourself. Uh, go out and think outside the square and, and, and photograph in all types of weather, whether it's 40 degree heat or <clears throat> minus 20 if you're overseas. But yesterday was, a, was an eye opener for me and I'm glad um, that I did it because it was um, a challenge and we all like challenges and photography is challenging, let's face it. But I, I urge every, each and every one of you that, that follow my channel and, and are involved with photography, <clears throat> Don't just sit in your armchair when it's starting to rain or the, the clouds are coming over, there's light, lightning and thunder. I mean, get out there. As long as you're safe, get out there. And I can tell you now, you'll, you'll have an experience that most other photographers won't because they won't dare to go out in those conditions. Um, yesterday, was uh, we had a supercell here. It hit around about 3 o'clock. And anybody living in Sydney, you would have seen the hail in certain suburbs of Sydney. Well, we copped that up, up here as well. It was frightening, seriously, and, and some of this track, um, if, you, if you fall, um, good night, they'll never find you. I mean, it was an arduous task 
um, getting down, but coming back up uh, was was um, a challenge in itself. I had to climb over um, trees that had fallen across the um, the track. Uh, there was a, a creek that was all right on the way down, but with all the rain in the, in the first 10 minutes, we had inches fall in, the, in, in 10 minutes. It was insane. Coming back, I had to wade through that, that creek to get up to the other side of the track. So it was really challenging. And um, quite frankly, I never thought I'd, I'd get back. That's how tough it was. Now, this particular location, you can't even find it on Google Maps because it's that thick and condensed. Um, there's local people that live in the, this area that, do, that don't even know that that track or that waterfall exists. And I now I know why a lot of photographers have never photographed this location because it is a beast of a location to try and get to. Uh, and on top of that, when you throw in a supercell storm on top of you, uh, it makes it even more challenging. But the story to this video is, is to make sure you go out and challenge yourself. Um, go out in all types, types of conditions. The Canon cameras I use are sort of like weather resistant and my camera bag has a rain cover so my equipment was safe. Um, I just had to dry the, the camera bag out overnight. But yeah, just challenge yourself. Don't think that oh, it's raining or it's overcast or it's going to rain or it's lightning, that I can't go out and take photographs, you can. And some of the photographs you can take in um, this type of weather is absolutely outstanding because the light is so easy to work with. Uh, with the waterfalls, uh, naturally you want a slower shutter speed. So yesterday it was very, very dark. And these two images which, images, which you'll see at the end of this video, I shot at 10 and 15 seconds respectively because I was shooting at f8, depth of field wasn't an issue. And I had a Nissi circular polarizer, which you lose one stop anyway. So the aperture or the shutter speed was um, well, quite well, working well with the aperture that I'd set at f8. Uh, and the, the shots came out really, really good. I'm very happy with them. In actual fact, I might blow one up and hang it up on the wall here in this studio here. But at the end of the day, you only get out of photography what you put into it. Uh, yesterday was a big effort uh, on my behalf because I wanted to do it. That, that waterfall was on my bucket list. It's just that I didn't know that it was that hard to get to and that hard to get out. But I survived and I've got the images to prove that. So if you're sitting at home in the next week or so and they are predicting a lot of rain this summer, which is fantastic, um, go out and take your cameras out with you because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what images you can, you can take and obtain uh, under weather conditions like we're having here in New South Wales in the last week. So that's all I have to say uh, on that subject about challenging yourself, getting yourself out of the armchair and taking yourself out of the comfort zone. So thanks for watching Sniper Photography. My name's Glenn Samuel, as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends, but most of all, you keep shooting, have fun, keep smiling, and bye for now.